Hey, it's the pretend farmer here. How are we doing today? <laughs> it's like 96 degrees out here. It's just too hot to do anything. We're just doing the basic necessities, feeding and watering. But I thought maybe it'd be a, a good day to bring out the pool for the pigs and the geese. So that's what we're doing. All right, get the pool in. Here come the geese. Ryan Jackson's trying to get a bit of an attitude. One girl's figured it out already. That didn't take them long. Okay, so now that we've got the pig cooled down and the geese happy, I'm just eating a popsicle. I'm trying to figure out what, what more I can do. Okay, so I bought something. I don't know, like a couple weeks ago, but I didn't show it because I was gonna show it when I was using it, but I'm fig I figured why not just show it right now. So here it is. Check out this beauty. 1952 case tractor. Runs like a 1952, looks like a 1952, has problems like a 1952. But boy, ain't she pretty. The only thing about this tractor for is to pull this brush hog right here behind me. Oh, wait, there. So I can cut the grass out there in the field so it doesn't get too overgrown. And that's it. It can't really do much more. It can't cut hay. It can't do anything. It can't, it doesn't have a bucket. I got a skid loader for all that. So yeah, it's just to cut the fields and brush the hog. You may have seen this thing in the background of my other videos, but uh, this thing right here is a hay feeder of my own invention. Yeah, we'll get on the front side here so you can see better. So we just open this thing up like that. And you throw the round bale inside. And the larger animals can eat it from the, uh, from the outside. And the smaller animals, like sushi here, can eat it from underneath. They just kind of go like this and they eat it down. And I found that by doing this, I'm saving a lot of hay because typically I used to have just a regular um, bale ring, the circle ones, and my sheep had no problem jumping in them. And uh, when they jump in it, they would poop and pee on the hay and I'd lose like half my hay. So by building this thing, I'm saving a lot of hay. All right, because they're not jumping on it and they eat and what, they, and what falls on the ground, the pig eats, the geese eat, the chickens eat. You know, it's a great thing, it's a great tool. So there's obviously no hay in it right now because, well, it's summertime and I don't need hay. So there's that. Hey, Sushi, you wanna say hi? Anything on your mind? Anything on your mind? Oh, my name's Sushi, I'm super cute. Yeah, you are. Okay, bye girl. I've mentioned it before, but Sushi, um, when we were bottle feeding her, we also bottle, were bottle feeding those cows at the same time. And so those three grew up together. And so Sushi and the cows hang out together and they go everywhere together. They're, uh, they're best pals. So when the cows turn into beef, Sushi's might be a little bit lonely. So we're gonna have to get some more cows to keep her company probably. I'm pretty sure she thinks she's a cow. Are you a cow, Sushi? Hey, sushi. Sushi, are you a cow? So most of those sheep you see behind me, this guy, that girl, that girl, not sushi, not sushi over there, and not Penn right here. But more than half, more than half of the sheep that I have are gonna be going to market soon in the next couple of weeks. And yes, they're gonna be sold for meat to somebody, probably hy vee or something like that, I don't know. Um, but they're gonna be, going off to market and that's why I don't really talk much about them because there's no point in creating a relationship with them if they're just gonna disappear soon. The only ones that that rule doesn't apply is with the cows, but that's just because they're cool. This is my farmer attire for the day. I got my Star Wars shirt on, may the force be with you. I got my shorts and slides. I don't think there's very many other farmers out there that dress like this. 
The great thing about the slides is they're really good foot protection, especially when a cow steps on your foot. You won't even feel it. You know, one thing I just noticed, I can't believe my wife is letting me film with this pimple on my chin. How embarrassing. So on a hot day like this, the sheep just kind of hang out underneath the overhang in the shade. They don't really do much. They kind of just stand around and breathe. Looking at the forecast, it should only be hot for another couple days. So we'll just continue to monitor them. I think I might get, I might throw a fan in here, maybe help cool down, get some wind airflow in here. But other than that, they kind of just breathe and chew cud and they're happy for the most part. Golly, it's hot. These are the days I wish I had a pool. But because I don't have a pool, we have the next best thing, the river. Now to just go gather up my nieces and nephews and my kids and my wife and let's go swimming in some hot and bacteria filled water. Let's go. Because what else do you do on a hot day? Well, I've been mentioning it's super hot, so we decided why not go swim in the river? Because what else do you do when you live in the country? You know? <laughs> Here we are, fighting off the gonorrhea. Ready, go. Nice job. Lots of mud to make slides on. Slide down the, slide down the little hills. Lots of pointy rocks to whack your knee on as you're walking through the water. It's good. It's great stuff. Nice job. So, yeah, the water's dirty. It's murky, it's muddy. There's catfish, there's probably some fish hooks. But as long as you fight off the gonorrhea, which isn't too hard, this is a great swimming hole. It's all fine. All right, we won that battle. Now that the gondoria is all slain, we can just relax in the 110 degree water. <laughs> it's literally warmer than a bathtub because it's so shallow. Every once in a while, fish comes and nips you. Not the greatest feeling. <laughs> Just look at all those yummy foam bubbles of bacteria. Just floating by my face. Don't get them in your mouth. <laughs> okay, as always, thanks for watching. And I hope you leave this video better than you came. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want, Turn your notifications on so you know when I release another video. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>